Hi guys, welcome to Five Wing Welding and DT channel. So we have, I have an isometric drawing. So this is an isometric drawing. So how to read the isometric drawing? This is for you, Five Peter, for all new Five Peter. Please listen and you will learn how to read um, isometric drawing. Isometric drawing. This is the actual isometric drawing. Okay. So for the 5 feeter and for the new 5 feeter first you before you ho uh, take this isometric drawing number you must check if your drawing if your isometric isometric drawing is correct based on your publication okay or publicating so before that you must check the so this is you must check the line number and the first you must uh, shall be to do is uh, check if your uh, isometric drawing is correct revision number okay so this is a uh, this is a revision number so this is revision 3 okay so we have a revision 3 drawing isometric okay so if you see this cloud, so this cloud is, it means this is a new revision, okay. So this is a cloud. This is called cloud. So this is a new uh, revision drawing. Okay, check the line number, check the revision drawing and the sheet. So we have a sheet number here. So this is a sheet number, okay and check also the before you fabricate or before you fit up check your uh, in the fabrication okay so this is uh this is your fabrication material and from this fabrication material so we have a pipe so this is pipe so pipe as may be 36.10 and this is a bevel and seamless and we have a size also this size is 100 and check the code and also the quantity or the so the quantity is millimeter so we have a pipe this is a fitting so we have fittings 90 degrees elbow and 45 degrees elbow so this is long radius you can see this lr this is a long radius and this is asme 16.9 for the fittings okay and astm a420 grade WPL6 so the size also 100 quantity 1 and we have a flange so this flange is a weld neck flange as me 16.5 okay so this is for the erection material for the erection material we have a gasket instrument and also supports okay so we have also powder support we have hole support and this is a cloud this is a new revision okay check also the cut pipe length so we have a cut pipe length so in piece size and length so this is a weld list okay you see this the weld list weld number okay and from this isometric drawing so from here this is uh, you see this is number three and this number three you will check here in the fabrication material number three so this 90 degrees elbow okay so this uh, circle is a joint number so this is a joint number 
joint number so this is this is a field weld and this is a shaft weld okay and we have a dotted line so this dotted line is it means they have a trace tracing okay so this is a dimension so eight 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 from a dimension support and from the center of the elbow so this is our support and this is the flow direction you see this arrow this is the flow direction and this is a spool 6 okay we have the spool 6 and we have a shadow we have a shadow of vertical and we have a shadow of horizontal okay this is a vertical shadow and we have horizontal shadow and also we have a cloud revision if you see this triangle this is small triangle it means they have slope so the slope is 8.74 percent slope okay spool 7 spool 8 and this is a revision number and we have this elevation okay el and this is a continuation easting northing so and this is elevation also okay we have a continuation check from this line number for the continuation okay and this is important this is your orientation this is your northing and the okay, north in the downside okay so from here we have a design pressure so the design pressure is 2900 operating pressure test pressure h hydro chemical treatment insulation code painting code so we have painting system 21 and this is NDE so NDE is a 5% okay so the design temperature this is a 90 operating commissioning system internal mechanical cleaning so this is a tracing okay this is tracing they have yes tracing here is if you see this dotted line so this is a tracing okay we have our speed double ht no line list and vnid number okay piping glass it's a fluid code hl it means this is hydrocarbon liquid and this is a uh, approved revision okay if they have a uh, changing of this isometric drawing they have approval of the from the engineering okay so this is the actual isometric drawing for you and for the new five feeter okay and for this for the and this for this is full they have a computation of this to get the spool okay from the center of the elbow and from the this is a t okay. But uh, they have a cut pipe length, you will see here, no need to compute, and we have a pipe cut pipe length, you will uh, see the uh, length of your spool. Okay. For example, we have this uh, letter uh, M, so it means in the fist number M, 
okay and piece na uh, this is a piece number n and one one it means here this is your one pipe and this is m your cut pipe size 15 and your length is uh, 100 okay. so thanks for watching guys and i hope you have learned about this uh, how to read the isometric drawing and don't forget to subscribe and comment my video have a nice day bye bye see you next my video thank you hi guys welcome to piping welding and non-destructive examination ndt and this is my channel piping welding non-destructive examination and dt so well so this video is regarding how to check your line in a fnid so we have isometric here so this is my isometric and this is the line of isometric and we have also a pnid number okay to check your uh, line in the fnid you must first check your fnid number so in the fnid number you can see here okay so this is the pnid number and the fnid number is 060003-01 okay and also check your size okay we have a size of 1500 and also check the line number so this is the our line number 060cd002 okay from this isometric number we will see it from the pnid okay so this is our pnid okay in the isometric drawing the number of our pnid number is 060003 okay we will see here so this is zero sixty zero zero three so this is our fnid now our line number is zero sixty five thousand five hundred cd zero zero three so this is our line for the fnid this highlighted line and the line number is here so this is our line number so this line is stopping point from the this vessel okay check the line number and check the size of the pipe okay so that's all for now guys and i hope you have learned about how to line how to check the line your line in the fnid so thanks for watching and have a nice day bye bye see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and like my video bye bye hi guys welcome to piping welding and dt channel so this video we have isometric here a real isometric how to read uh, isometric drawing this is part two okay in my video this is a part two how to read isometric drawing so if you hold this isometric drawing first you must check the revision number this is for important revision number the sheet number the line number and the area and of, of course also the this uh, material description the five what type of five what type of fittings what type of plants and plants gasket bolts bulbs so this is the isometric drawing and also the, this is the orientation okay if you fit up this um, check bulb check the flow direction the ratings okay the type of the check bulb and the type of uh, a type of pipe this is a carbon steel or three uh, carbon steel or a stainless steel so this is uh, isometric okay this is the spool number and this is the joint number 
joint number if you this see this uh, joint number we have a line there this is a fill weld and this joint 20 is a shaft weld okay this is the dimension this is important the dimension okay and this is the gate bulb the flow direction okay we have a flow direction this this arrow is a flow direction the spool number the joint okay if you see this uh cloud we have they have a revision from this drawing okay this is the new revision okay we have a continuation here and also this one continuation the elevation the norting and the sting okay so this is the how to read the isometric all uh, all uh, level here from the isometric you must check it okay if you are going to fit up or if you are going to uh, erection in the five rock okay what uh, check the norting okay norting and elevation and also the area okay so Thanks for watching guys and this is the simple uh, uh, video to how to read the isometric drawing okay so thanks for watching guys I hope you have uh, learned about this video regarding how to make how to read the isometric drawing part 2 so thanks guys and have a nice day bye bye hello guys welcome to piping welding and dt channel so this video is all about how to read or how you read the isometric drawings okay if you have an experience regarding this isometric drawing you know better how to read drawing but the, the beginning the beginner he need or she need to know how to read the isometric drawings okay first for the isometric drawing if you have isometric drawing first you must check the revision number why this revision numbers is a very very important this is a number one because if you uh, hold the old revision number and then you fabricate it and then they have a new updating uh, isometric drawing or revision number your uh, your work will be cut it because they have uh, some uh, rev uh, revision of this uh, dimension or they have uh, some uh, fittings changing so this is a very important the revision number check the revision number for the isometric and also Check the line number, check the sheet number, and all okay. And check the materials description if you have a starting to uh, fabricate it. This uh, also important the material. This uh, description. So check the the five you installed it. If this is stainless or this is a carbon steel, you must check it to, or 106 or uh, for the fittings AU 105. Check the fittings. Also check the ratings, the thickness and the dimension. And also check the orientation. The elevation. Okay. So this is the important you must know about to read the isometric drawing. Okay. I will draw a uh, iso uh, line in the isometric drawing. So let's say this is our line. Okay. And this our north.
let's say we have a check bulb here and our orientation if you see this uh, flow this uh, arrow this is a flow direction okay this is a check valve I'm sorry for the uh, these are wrong this is a correct symbol of check valve so this is important you must check the flow direction of check valve for this for this flow of the line okay the flow of check valve of course is the same with this uh, flow of the line so This is how to read the isometric drawing. For your installing the check valve, you must uh, check the flow direction. Okay, and also we have a line here. Okay, if you see this uh, shadow, this is a horizontal shadow, so you must aware from this shadow. Okay, and we have a vertical. So this is the vertical shadow, so you must aware for this um, shadow. If you are, uh, um, if you are installing the fight if you see this shadow you must aware for this horizontal and the vertical okay so that's all for now guys and thanks for watching have a nice day bye hello guys welcome to piping welding and ndt channel so my video is about typical typical isometric symbols okay so this is my video now so let's discuss this typical isometric videos okay so the typical isometric videos one is if you see this line and they have an arrow there so what is this so this is low direction okay now if you see this symbol so this is a uh, straight one side and they have a uh, this one uh, one and other side is have an ang angle so this is eccentric reducer okay And this symbol is concentric reducer. Next. If you see these symbols, this is a stop. This is from the support.
this line and they have one two lines there this is a guide okay you see this have a rectangle downside this is shoe with guides next this symbols means this is swages okay now let's discuss a butt weld socket weld and a screw joint this is butt weld socket weld and screwed joint so this is gate bulb okay they have a circle there and they have a circle there dotted okay this is a bat weld and then another gate bulb and the symbol is like this so this is a socket weld another symbol so this is lead pipe also and this is a screw joint next So this is a slip on flange. In the socket weld, the symbol is like this, and the screw normally like that. Okay. Next is lap joint, lap joint flange. And I have a joint there. This is a lap joint plant. Okay. So this is a 90 degrees elbow a screw joint. From the socket, uh, from the this is the socket weld, and from the screw like that. Okay. Now from the 90 degrees butt weld, if you see this dotted and another one dotted with line like this, this is pill weld, and this is shaft weld okay that they have a different um, uh, field weld shaft weld it depends upon on the company okay the symbol this one is this is union And from the screw joint, so this like this. This is the symbol of union. Okay. So I will give you an, an example from the isometric drawing. So this is the isometric drawing. So if we can see, we have a arrow there on the line. So this arrow this arrow is a flow direction, right? So our flow direction is going down. Okay. So this symbols is this is a orifice flange. And we have um we have a 90 degrees elbow there 
and also 90 degrees elbow so this is we have a shadow this is a vertical line if you see this cloud they have a revision of this drawing okay and we have a spool number this is a spool number spool 10 and we have a sharp weld joint and this is a fill weld okay and this is the joint number joint 39 fill weld this joint 38 is a sharp weld okay so if you see this dotted line in the drawing so this is they have a heat tracing okay this uh, tracing is heat tracing insulation so this is the continuation continuation number continuation of this ice uh, line and we have um, also elevation this is el is elevation this elevation is 10918 what else so this is the shadow vertical we have a shadow vertical there and horizontal okay And we have a spool. This is a spool line. And we have also a bulb there. Okay. So our bulb is uh, the name of bulb is um, this is a ball bulb. So this is a bill of materials. So all of this in the line. You can see from this BOM. You can see here the pipe size, the type of ma material, type of pipe, the schedule. Oh, this is a 833 grade 6. This is a low temp. Okay, schedule. This is a standard. This is a seamless pipe, and I have a pittings there. So this is a 90 degrees elbow. And we have also 45 degrees elbow, and we have a flange, a weld neck flange. So this is our weld neck flange. Okay. So from this ball bulb, if you see this arrow, this is a arrow of this ball bulb. Okay. Now this is important. If you install this uh, ball bulb, you must uh, check the flow direction of the ball bulb. Okay. And then um, from the downside you can see here that the design pressure the operating the test uh, pressure type what insulation painting okay they have a tracing painting system they have a PWHT line list low width code piping class and material class And also, this uh, revise revision. Okay, this is the important. You must check the revision. Why? Because if you uh, uh, if your isometric is not uh, is uh, old, and then you install the line, and this is of uh, the problem. You cut again the line because they have a new revision. So this is the important, okay? So check the revision. This is a revision 1M03. So this is a new. So we have a line number also. And the design area. So this is the uh, isometric draw drawing. And you can see, check also the uh northing okay we have a northing here so this is our north 
this is important if you install this uh, in the five rack you must check the, the orientation and also the elevation elevation northing easting okay so that's all for now guys and i hope you have learned about this uh, typical isometric symbols and what is it? what is the scope of this isometric drawing is all about what is the line and then the uh, and the bom the line number okay that's all for now guys thanks for watching and i hope you have learned about this video and see you in my next video again have a nice day thank you bye hello guys welcome to piping welding and ndt our topic for today is fnid so this is the fnid and we have an isometric drawing okay so how to read the isometric drawing and how to read in the fnid okay so first what is fnid so fnid is piping instrument diagram okay for this isometric drawing so we see here the line and also the orientation and also the description of this file this isometric drawing we will see here the pn90 number so the PA90 number is 060000001-01. Okay, so this is the PA90. Um, it is a blurred in the because uh, this is a small letter, so I write it here uh, PA90 number. So from this PA90 number, this is the isometric drawing and we can see here from the PNID number, we will see here the from this uh, box, we will see here the PNID number from the isometric number. Okay, so this is the PNID number. Okay, indicate here the 060.000001.01. Okay, so this is the fnid of this isometric drawing now from this line number 060 ww-01 we will find here the line number of the isometric number okay so ww-001 so this is the line number of the isometric so this is this is the line and from this isometric number this is stopping point from the bezel one okay from the bezel one so this is the line number so this is the line number and from the going from going from the bezel okay so this is the line number and going to bezel so this is how to read the isometric and from the PNID drawing okay so thank you guys and i hope you have learned about this PNID drawing and isometric number how to read it and thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video bye